Hello, you all. We are back with another Wealthy Sisters Experience video. It's Gabby and Dominique. And in today's video, we are telling you why we are not cruising with Carnival Sunrise anymore. Number uno. Yes. Oh, the ship is just way too noisy. At least when we went, but we went in August, right? But right before people go back to school, um, kids go back to school, people got like time off. They're trying to use their summer vacation up, I guess. We went during that time, August. Me personally, <laughs> us, we would not cruise again in August on Carnival Sunrise because it was just way too many kids and too much noise. Like literally every second of every day, morning, night, just running back and forth. Yeah, and then true. they were like, knock on your door and run away. That's what we had to do. And it, we woke up to it, we went to sleep to it. It was just a lot of noise. That's just number one. Number two. One of the things that this ship says is that it's family friendly. It's a family friendly cruise. Lies, okay? Oh, oh wait, we, we gotta put a disclaimer. This is no disrespect to any parent that wants to bring their kids on a cruise. Um, I say that if you're gonna bring your children on a cruise, okay? First of all, raise them Jesus. first. Jesus. Okay? Raise them. I'm here for kids. I love the children, but I like some with some home training. Don't so, kids that have no home training none at all, at all really whatsoever. And then don't bring your children on a cruise and forget them. You out living your best life and you're not watching your kids. And don't send them to the camp thinking that the camp people are gonna watch your kids because they're not. They're not gonna watch your kids. So let me tell y'all, pizza story. We came from one of the late night shows. I feel like it was love and marriage. We don't usually eat after eight, but we was hungry. The food wasn't good. That's the reason number three, but we'll, we digress. We ain't get there yet. So we're like, all right, let's get us some pizza. You know those pizza lines are crazy long that's the only at thing night. That's open lately at night. And then they got the audacity. Y'all know we are the only people open and you only got two workers. Two? You know everything else is closed. Y'all gonna have two workers. All right, but I digress again. They had to get their rest though. They, yeah, but rest during the day when all the other they places can't are open. They can't because they're all, all the other places are open. But then this is the only place. <laughs> so you have some workers that rest during the day and then their time is the nighttime. Do not have one restaurant open at night when you have night activities, knowing people gonna be hungry at night and have two workers in the one place that's available for food. But anyway, the line was long. The line was long. And the children was out. We were standing in this long line. Long line. For a long time. Seriously. And this um, young lady. Teenage girl. Walks up to me and asks, can she, can she um, get in front of me because, well, get in front of all of us because she was not supposed to be out, first of all. She was supposed to be at the camp where her parents left her. Why is she at camp at 10, 11 o'clock at night? I don't know. Because that her parents was out already and they left her at camp, so it was like a watch her, but she wasn't being watched. Clearly. So, <laughs> the, um, the girl, I told her yes. Which is beyond me, but anyway. It's the kindness of my heart. It's the kindness. So, she, when she gets in front of me, she explains her story, her testimony. <laughs> it's not a testimony. Not it is not a testimony, okay? <laughs> testimony. She explains to me how she was out. She was smoking with her friends. Marijuana. So she was high. High as a kite. <laughs> she was like smoky because she didn't want her parents to find out. Um, so yeah. That's what they're doing when you send your children to camp. They're in the stairwells smoking weed. Not in the stairwells, they was outside smoking weed. Jonathan said they was over by his, the in the th oh. they was everywhere smoking. That's what the kids was doing on the ship while the mothers I and fathers. I, I, I and I blame the parents. 
Oh, it's all the way. It's the parents' fault. How you go on a cruise and you don't know where your children are and what they're doing and what kind of camp activities are they doing at 11 o'clock? I don't care if they're on vacation. At a certain time, their tails need to be in that room. Then, then, okay, this, this is the other part, not family friendly. There is no dress code on this cruise ship, okay? No dress code. If it's, if it's a family friendly cruise, clearly some people need a dress code because embarkation day, you know how hard it was to edit our videos? But I'm on the ship ready to sail away on my vacation. And I feel like I'm at a stripper's convention. I don't know if I signed up for an exotic dancer's tour or what, because all you see, huh? I, too much, sorry. Excuse me, no offense to all the strippers out there. I'm just saying that I don't want to go on a ship. And this was a cruise that we were supposed to bring our guy kids. Yeah. If you want to wear thong bikini type bathing suits, right? Go um, swimming at night. The reason I say the sell away party is because when you sell away, it's like four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Why is you naked at four or five in the afternoon? And then there's a serenity adult only deck. Yeah. If you want to be butt naked, Go on a swingers cruise, first of all. No, don't go on a family-friendly cruise, okay? If, but then go to areas, or there's a time and a place for everything, okay? Four o'clock in the afternoon at a family cruise when we're trying to sail away and start our vacation is not the time that we want to see your behind cheeks. Family-friendly, no. Nah. Borderline swingers cruise, yes. Adult-only cruise, yes. Family-friendly, no. Nah. Carnival wear. Um, reason number three, <laughs> but reason number three is the food was the worst. Horrible. Horrible. Worst. It's like every time we ha thought we had something good, it was just like, uh, no, it's not it. It was not there it. There was one place that was okay. I mean, it was good. It was better than everything else that was on the um, the ship. It was the pig, pig and anchor. Yes. It would have been better if it was warm. Bring the pig and anchor indoors. It's, you gotta go outside for the pig and anchor. It's the best thing you got going for you. Bring it inside, put it on a hot plate, please. I mean, you can tell it's good because it was good cold, but y'all. Everything else was. No, you like the pasta place. Oh yeah, pasta place was good too. Um, I'm upset at myself that I only had it one time on the cruise. Yeah. But yeah. Everything else was not good. The buffet, right. we don't do buffets because it's good. Too many people breathing and touching all on your food. I, we just can't do it. I'm sorry. If y'all like the buffet and I know that that's what y'all go for, unfortunately, we can't help you there because they just, everybody just. This is breathing, coughing, sneezing. We can't. Spit. And they just talking and the saliva come out. Mm -mm. We can't. No. <laughs> they talking to each other. And, mm -mm, mm, no. No. And then y'all let the kids go and they. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nobody mm -hmm. wash their hands. It has been all over the ship. They mm -hmm. come in. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. It's too much. It's just too much. It's the reasons go on. The list goes on and on and on and on as to why we do not do the buffet food. And we no. hear that it's pretty good, uh, but we just gonna have to take but your word for it. YouTuber, exactly. We gonna have to just take your word for it. Even like the um, they have sit down dinners. Mm -hmm. I can't speak on that because every plate I had, I sent it right back. Yeah, we were nicknamed the Picky Sisters. <laughs> I disagree with that wholeheartedly, but you know, every day, every day we had a problem with our food. Either the chicken was pink, um, the salmon wasn't good, the salad was bad. It, it just like breakfast wasn't good. Everybody be talking about sea day brunch. Maybe it was just this cruise, I don't know, but it, it was wasn't it. Like, it wasn't it. It's like cafeteria. Facts, facts, Maybe jail house food. But and then we paid. We paid, it's not like we didn't pay, like, pay less money for a cruise. We paid good money for a cruise. I but I think what happened was, because we were planning this cruise earlier in advance, before COVID really came That's into true. play strong. Yeah. 
I feel like once they open cruising back up to get people back on this ship, they did a lot of discount pricing. Um, after we, <laughs> after we, we um, clearly after we booked it, <laughs> yeah, we ain't get no discount at no. all. But um, I feel like to get things like jump started again, mm -hmm. um, they offered um, that. All right, reason number four: the smell. So Carnival Sunrise is an older ship, but it's newly remodeled. So they remodeled the ship, but the ship is still old, okay? So in the rooms and certain parts of the ship, there's this faint sewage smell? sewer foul odor. Yeah. Now for us, we could only smell it in our bathroom. Yeah. And um, the housekeeper did all she could yeah. we called her God she would come her. and she would pour some stuff yeah, in there she did her thing, though. yeah she tried her best right but then it would wear off mm -hmm. and then it was back again mm -hmm. good thing was it was only in the bathroom and it wasn't in our whole room if we if it was in our whole room we probably would have had a whole fit but it was like i have a question speaking of bathrooms carnival why don't you get um Glass, bags. Um, is mm -hmm. it like plexiglass? Mm -hmm. Showers? Mm -hmm. Why do we still have curtains? Carnival. Just a question. Okay. Just ask. Last but not least. Now these are our reasons. I say to you again, we're letting you know why we don't choose fun on Carnival Sunrise. Now we have had great carnival experiences our first cruise was a carnival cruise left out of cali we do have videos of that cruise here so you can take a look yeah, yeah. we don't have anything against carnival and even if we look at this cruise in totality mm -hmm. well i feel like we're gonna have a ball wherever we go like that's true so the whole cruise overall was pretty good mm -hmm. but when you're trying to like if you're going on a vacation, you're going to relax, you're going to get away. You don't want just an average cruising mm -hmm. experience. You don't want a it's pretty always. good experience. Like you want how how was your vacation? Man, listen, I wish I was still there. Like we was packed ready to get off that ship. Like that's not how you're supposed to we leave your vacation. Over. We was over it. Okay. By the by the end of that ship, the, the cruise, we was done. So if you want to see Sea Days, uh, Jamaica, Ocho Rios, look at the whole experience and see if it works for you. These are our deal breakers, but if you don't have a problem with any of the things that we're saying, then maybe still book this cruise. This cruise might be the cruise for you. Mm -hmm. We're saying that these are the reasons that we mm -hmm. would not rebook this cruise. And the last final reason is don't take this wrong. Ray, I want to tell you something, and I don't want you to take it wrong. <laughs> then give it to me right then. But we enjoy diversity on our cruise ships. We like to vacation with our brothers and sisters that may be from other parts of the world or may not always look like us. We want to see a well-balanced, diverse, multicultural, type cruise. If there is more of a specific group of individuals, it's not really the kind of cruising experience that we prefer. And this cruise did not offer a lot of diversity. And we like diversity. Um, I believe it might have something to do with the ports because we were going to Jamaica <laughs> and the discount. No offense, no offense to what we're about to say, but because we was going to Jamaica, first of all, everybody was high. We was talking about the young girl, but it wasn't just her. Mm -mm. When I tell you that whole ship was high, we will never, never go to Jamaica on a cruise ship. Ever, ever, never again. We would have to fly there. Yeah, we would go to Jamaica, but we gotta fly mm -hmm. there 
lie back. It ain't no way. We going with everybody and their mama to Jamaica on a cruise ship because the level of marijuana and the smell, we already got the sewer smell. And now we got the marijuana smell too. And then you high, your kids high. And, and then it mixed alcohol with that. So it was just like, it was too much. From start to finish. You really started much. naked and then you just, and it was just, it was seen too much on this cruise ship. So listen, those are the reasons that Carnival Sunrise is just not for us. So we, we're one for one. Right now, we one for one with Carnival. We had one great cruising experience and one that was just all right, you know? So we're going to give Carnival a break. We're not done with Carnival altogether. You just won't catch us on Sunrise. But we, we still rock with Carnival. Lee is our favorite cruise director, and then our cruise director on this ship was, uh, oh, Jake, I know it, Jake. Jake. Cruise directors are great. So listen, we not done with Carnival. We still rock with Carnival, but we one for one right now, and we just feel like absence make the heart grow fonder. Mm -hmm. So we going to give Carnival some space. Like, we got to recover, okay? But we won't be cruising in August. Oh no, no, our August is not for us. We going back to our original cruising time, which is when the kids is in school. Yes. But we are welcoming to the cruising family, the Royal Caribbean cruise ship, and we are going on Oasis of the Seas. Um, and so we are super excited about that. Um, and we have so much planned and in store. We are cruising to Canada. And so we're super excited about that. So listen, if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Right we want to tell you. We want to tell you what? All about our cruising experiences. And so you guys subscribe. And like, comment, share, and click the bell. That way you can be notified every time we post a video.